Hello friends, a warm and hearty welcome to the special session where we embark on a journey of exploration and understanding into the realm of cyber security through the lens of Certified Information Security Manager questionnaires. I am thrilled to have you all join us on this platform. Whether you are seasoned professionals in the field or simply curious mind seeking knowledge, as we engage these CSIM questionnaires, I encourage active participation and thoughtful discussion. Let's start with the today's set one. The first question states, which of the following is the most important risk associated with the middleware in a client server environment? The options are, server patching may be prevented, Option B, system backups may be incomplete. System option C, data integrity may be affected. And option D, end user sessions may be hijacked. The correct answer is, friends, option C, data integrity may be affected. Let's discuss the other options one by one. Option A, Server patching may be prevented. Friends, this is an incorrect answer because the server patching is not affected by the presence of middleware. Coming to the option B, system backup may be incomplete. Friends, in this, the system backups are not affected. Similarly, coming to the option C, data integrity may be affected. This is correct answer because the major risk associated with the middleware in a client server environment is that data integrity may be adversely affected if middleware should fail and become corrupted. Coming to the next, end user session may be hijacked. Friends, this is a wrong answer because the hijacked end user session can occur but they can be detected by implementing security checks in the middleware. That's why the option C is correct. Moving on to the next question, question two. It states, from an information security perspective, information that no longer support the main purpose of the business should be. The options are, option A, analyze under the retention policy. Option B, protected under the information classification policy. Option C, analyzed under the backup policy. And option D, assessed by the business impact analysis. Friends, the correct answer is option A, analyzed under the retention policy. Because information analyzed under the retention policy will determine whether the enterprise is required to maintain the data for business or legal or regulatory reasons. Keeping data that are no longer required consumes resources unnecessarily and in the case of sensitive personal information which can increase the risk of data compromise. Coming to the option B, which states protected under the information classification policy. This is incorrect because whether information is protected under the information classification policy is an attribute that should be considered in the destruction and retention policy. Coming to the option C, analyzed under the backup policy, it is incorrect because there is no reason to backup information that is no longer of use to the enterprise and it should be considered as part of the retention policy. Coming to the option D, assessed by a business impact analysis, friends, this answer is incorrect because the business impact analysis could help determine whether information supports the main objective of the business 
but would not indicate the action to take. That's why the option A is correct. Thank you for watching friends. Please do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more updates. This is the end of CSUM questionnaire set 1. Thank you.